Public health experts are applauding a new FDA ban on chemicals in many antibacterial soaps. The government is targeting 19 ingredients found in soaps and body washes. The FDA says they could do more harm than good. Companies have one year to remove the chemicals or take the products off the store shelves. Our Dr. David Akis is in Los Angeles. David, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right, so what are these commonly used ingredients in these soaps, and why is the FDA taking this action now? So triclosan and triclocarban are the two most common, but there's 17 others. So 19 total ingredients that were removed that represent about 40 of the soaps out there. The bottom line is whenever a soap says antibacterial or a claim, it's one of them. And the reason they're doing this is that it's been shown that they may affect the endocrine axis, initially in mice and potentially in humans. And it could actually breed the super bacteria by resistant bacteria. And at the same time, there hasn't been shown to be any benefit. So potential risk, I emphasize the word potential, and no benefit, so the FDA took a stand. And so, doctor, one of the leading trade groups here has pushed back, perhaps not unexpectedly, against this claim. The American Cleaning Institute releases a statement that said in part, and I quote, antibacterial soaps are critical to public health because of the importance hand hygiene plays in the pre prevention of infection. You mentioned those risks with potentially no benefit, but what benefits are believed to exist in these soaps? Well, washing your hand with soap and water is fantastic, and it's been shown to work. Several years ago, the FDA said, listen, it's a warning shot. Show us the data for us to allow these to be on the market. And there really hasn't been any data that there's a public benefit or a benefit to the individual on using them. So without that benefit, they're pushed off the market over the next year. You say several years. Is there a reason to be concerned if you've been using these soaps that you might have some of these impacts? No, I, you know, nobody knows of any direct human health issue with using these soaps. There's potential ones. Right. And so when there's no benefit of potential ones, we take a step back. So nobody should panic. But now when you go shopping and there's that claim, antibacterial, don't buy that one. Okay, what about hand sanitizers, wipes, uh, the other products in this, in, in, in this area? That's a great question. Is that right now the FDA said, hey, we're going to look at data there to see if there is benefit to them. And so, again, a warning there, but there is no yet uh, a study to show that there isn't benefit there and there isn't a harm yet. So the FDA is going to look at them and we'll hear more over the next year with regard to the hand sanitizers. All right, uh, Dr. Agus, two companies, Procter & Gamble and Johnson & Johnson, already started phasing out these ingredients before this rule. But what should I and other consumers look for when you're going down the aisle, you're shopping and you want something that really cleans your hands? What should you be looking at when you look at the label? Just when it says soap. So get away from all the claims. <laughs> Just as simple as that. <laughs> soap and water work. We've been using that for a long time. Yeah, and everybody has these marketing claims to try to sell it. Soap, soap, soap. Perfect. And so simple. That's all we need. <laughs> Dr. David Agus, thank you.